recognize uh, Vice Chair Guest from Mississippi. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, to both of our gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for the men and women that serve under your command. I want you to know that the frustration and the anger that you may feel today is not directed at you personally, uh, and it's clearly not directed under the men and women that serve under you, uh, but is directed uh, at this administration, which has not only failed the American public, uh, but has failed the officers that, that serve with you. Uh, Chief, I want to expand a little bit on uh, something that uh, Chairman Green touched on. Uh, he talked about operational control of the border, uh, and I think you were very candid when you said that uh, we do not have operational control of the border. Uh, I want to follow that up uh, with a question. Uh, is the border secure? Uh, we have heard repeatedly from Secretary Mayorkas uh, when he has testified before this hearing. He has told myself. He has told Congressman Bishop that. Uh, we heard him tell uh, Congressman Roy uh, and a, a Judiciary Committee the same thing. Uh, we've heard the vice president say that. The vice president uh, said in an interview with Meet the Press uh, when asked by Chuck Todd, uh, she said the border is secure, but we have a broken immigration system. Uh, then she went on to say we have a secure border uh, and that that is a priority for any nation, including ours and our administration, but there are still a lot of problems. And, and so my question to you, Chief, is, is the border secure? Thank you, Congressman. I will tell you that uh, I'm responsible for the northern border, I'm responsible for our coastal sectors, and I'm responsible for the southwest border. And I'm going to break it down real quick. Northern border, I have eight sectors up on the northern border, and I've got one sector that is experiencing an awful lot of uh, influx of migrants from Canada. I went to Ottawa, Canada about four weeks ago, met with my RCMP partners, and we're addressing that threat. I've got 25 additional agents deployed up there. And at one point, I had 854 officers deployed from the northern border to the southern border to help with the situation that we were encountering. I no longer have to do that. Out in our coastal sectors, uh, I've got and, tremendous... And I'm not, don't want to cut you off, Chief, but my time... Is the southern border secure? Let's not, I'm not worried about the northern border. Let's talk strictly about the southern border. When is you, your testimony that it is secure or is not secure? When you look at the southwest border, I have nine southwest border sectors from San Diego to here, to South Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Out of the nine southwest border sectors, I feel like the men and women are doing a phenomenal job in four of them with respect to the amount of flow and the processing that we are encountering on a daily basis. Five of those southwest border sectors are experiencing a higher level of flow than we have seen previously, and that creates some unique challenges for us, and it puts a strain on the overall immigration system, not just for myself, but for our partner agencies, for our sheriff's departments, police departments. And so I have to move resources into those five southwest border sectors, and that forces me to make some adjustments across the entire 2,000 miles of the southwest All right, border. So I'm, I'm taking it then as your testimony that five of the nine sectors on the southwest border are, are not currently secure. Let me ask you if you would agree with this statement. This is a statement that Colonel McGraw uh, with the Texas Department of Public Safety, he will be testifying in the second panel. I'm sure you know him well and you work very closely with him. Uh, he, uh, in his written statement, said that it is the assessment of the Texas Department of Public Safety that the most significant public safety and homeland security threat to Texas and our nation is an unsecured border with Mexico. Uh, he goes on to say, and again, this is not directed at your men individually, but more at the administration, the federal government has failed to do its constitutional duty and secure the border. This failure comes at the detriment of our citizens and the benefit of the Mexican cartels. Uh, and, of course, we have seen uh, Mexican cartels become extremely active in human trafficking and drug smuggling. Uh, we saw the Gulf Cartel kill two Americans, uh, shot another uh, just recently uh, south of Brownsville. Of course, we saw very disturbing, imaging, very disturbing images uh, this week of the mass uh, surge there at uh, the El Paso uh, Port of Entry, where I believe there were roughly 1,000 immigrants who tried to uh, surge into the United States. And, and so my question is, do you agree with the statement of Colonel McGraw uh, when he talks about that this is a public safety threat uh, and a threat to homeland security? Yes, sir, I do agree with Colonel McCraw. 
I have an excellent relationship with the state of Texas. We continue to work those partnerships, both with our sheriffs, our police departments uh, here in Texas and across the southwest border. I will tell you this, though, when you think about a secure border, right now we're experiencing about 4,800 apprehensions a day in a 24-hour period. Our agents are doing a phenomenal job across the entire southwest border managing that. I'm not having to decompress flights like I was having to do uh, three and four months ago. We're able to repatriate more individuals to their host country now than we ever have. 31 flights last week, 35 flights this week. We need to continue these consequences in order to affect the right response and the right uh, effect across these uh, border situations. And Chief, I know I'm out of time, but you and I were in a hearing in D.C. on Tuesday. Uh, with us was an admiral from the Coast Guard. Uh, that admiral testified uh, that mass immigration is a national security issue. Uh, do you agree with his assessment? Yes, sir. I now recognize uh, 